Hello again. I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. That's eight self improvement lessons that I hope you'll review to improve your life. The second of these lessons has to do with improving your communication effectiveness. I've been studying this for 40 years and I'm impressed by the many hundreds of people uh, that I've worked with, students, clients, friends, family members, how few people really know how to communicate effectively and how much they don't know they don't know. This little video is an attempt to pique your curiosity about this thing you do all the time, probably without thinking about it, called communication. I want to offer you a quiz that you can evaluate your own knowledge and begin to get a sense of what is it that you don't know you need to know about effective communication. Uh, take your time with this. If you need to, stop the video after each question and ponder. Think what your answer is. Try saying it out loud. See what that sounds like. The first and most basic question of all is, relative to people, what is communication? When does communication occur? What is it? Can you define it? If a seven-year-old kid asked you, what is communication? Would you say talking and listening or something else? So what is communication? The next question is, why do we do it? Why do people and animals for that matter, other animals, why do we all communicate? this process that hopefully you defined a moment ago. Why do we do it? In 40 years study, I can only come up with five specific reasons that human beings communicate together. My long experience is average people, college educated or not, cannot identify these five reasons. There's an implication. If you can't identify it, how do you know if you're communicating effectively or not? So, name the five reasons that you have been communicating for all these years. I bet you can't. Okay. The next fundamental core question is, <clears throat> when you are with another person and you are communicating with him or her, what are the four messages that you are exchanging all the time? face to face or over the phone, there are four messages I propose that we are all unconsciously decoding from each other all the time. So there are eight messages going back and forth. Can you name what the four messages are? If you can, can you then point out which of these four messages is the most crucial and has the biggest impact on the effectiveness of your communication with other people. One of them stands out way above the other three. Do you know what it is? I bet you don't. So, what do you communicate? The next core question is, how do you communicate? I propose, this is common knowledge, I bet you know this one, when you're with another person, there are three ways or three channels over which we exchange information. We do this simultaneously. Sometimes the information on one channel does not match the information on another channel, causing something called a double message. So can you name the three channels, the three ways that people communicate when they're face to face? All right, core question. If you have children, um, early teens or beyond, do you think they could name the three ways that they're communicating with their friends? Do you think it's important they know what these three ways are? If you can name what is communication, why do we do it, what are the messages we exchange, how do we 
communicate. Then, can you name seven specific skills that, in my biased opinion, as a long-time student of effective communication, can you name the seven skills that you and each of your children and your mate and your parents and the other important people you care about, co-workers, bosses, neighbors, church members, can you name seven specific skills every one of us needs to cultivate in order to communicate effectively? I bet you can't. I have never met one person in 40 years who could name these skills. Some got four, some got five, not all seven. <clears throat> so I challenge you. What are the seven skills you ought to be learning and teaching your kids? There are, in my opinion, and I'm obsessive about this whole process that we're all doing together, I have discovered 30, count them, 30 specific ways people block effective communication when they're trying to get their needs met with each other. 30. I challenge you, can you name seven or eight or ten common communication blocks? Quick example, common one, interrupting each other. That's a communication block. There are 29 other common habits that people are in without even knowing it. You probably use 10 or 15 of these. It would be helpful if you want to communicate effectively. You should know what these blocks are and what you use and how to avoid them. Right? Okay, notice how you're feeling right now. Finally, you put all these questions together and all the knowledge that comprises the answers. And the final question I want to propose to you as a veteran communicator, what is effective communication? In my judgment, there are two criteria that each one of us has to meet <clears throat> in every conversation with every other person if it's important to us to communicate, quote, effectively, unquote. I bet you can't name these two criteria. If you can, I congratulate you. So, what I'm attempting to do here in this video is raise your motivation. This is a sales pitch. I'm selling information and awareness and knowledge so you can live more successfully and have more successful relationships and teach your kids how to do that. I'm posing these fundamental core questions about the essential dynamic called communication between you and all other people and some favored animals on the assumption that you can't answer some or even most of these questions. I hope you'll use that as motivation to roll your sleeves up and study lesson two in my website. It's free. There are no ads whatsoever. It's purely educational and it's there to help you improve your awareness of how to communicate effectively with other people and as a bonus what you learn there also applies to communicating effectively among the sub selves that make up your busy talented personality so i hope you'll study lesson two with an open mind be curious about what you'll find there also watch some of the other videos that relate to lesson two what do you know about communication? Enjoy learning. Thanks for watching.